Hi students, let's look at this question here, which is on complex number taken from the year 2021 paper on question 4, alright? So the complex number Z is given by this. So find modulus Z argument Z and hence find Z squared. Okay, great. I think the first thing is to understand that uh, for complex number, uh, we the Euler's formula will be cosine theta plus I sine theta is equals to E I theta. Okay, the, the, the crux of it is to understand that uh, for the sine theta is a plus i in front. So the, the problem now is this is a negative, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to absorb this in because we're going to use this identity here, which is sine negative theta is equals to negative sine theta, okay? And also, uh, we need to use uh, cosine negative theta is equals to cosine uh, theta, okay? So that's that. So that's, that's the first thing I will want to do. Let's try this will give us cosine pi over 8 plus i sine negative pi over 8, right? So you just absorb this negative in. But the thing is, uh, just cosine, we could just add a negative as and when we want because it's the same thing, okay? So I'm just going to add a negative inside here because it will still hold, hold the same same value, All right? Then that's that. So once this is done, uh, what we could do is just use... Uh, the Euler identity there, there will be e i pi over 16 square, then e i negative pi over 8. Okay. Then here is just a uh, secondary school indices form. Just do it. Then I will get uh, e i uh, pi over 8. Okay. Then this is e minus i pi over 8. You add both of them up together. E i power 8 minus minus i power 8. You get, get a grand total of e i pi over 4. Great. So that's that. Um, we not now know that mod modular z, there's a 1 in front here. Okay. Is 1. There's a 1. Then the argument z will be pi over 4. Okay, just pi over 4. There you go. Done. So to find the value of z squared should be quite straightforward as well. So z squared, z is just, uh, z squared will just be e i pi over 4 square. Be e i pi over 2. Yeah, pi over 2 is a special angle, 90 degrees. This is just i, right? This is just i. If not, you could just use cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. So you know that. Pi over 2 is 1, cosine pi over 2 is 0. So this case here will just be z squared is just i. Okay, that's that. So let's look at b part 1. Show that cosine theta plus i sine theta, 1 plus cosine theta minus i sine. Okay, the thing now is just understand that this is my z. If this is my z, then this is my z conjugate. Okay, so z minus i sine theta. Um, oh, but okay, I mean, if this is w. I, I don't want to assume that, that this is W conjugate. Okay, so there's that. Then this will be uh, W. Okay, so they want to show. So you just start on the left hand side, show to the right. I think it's pretty okay. So I'm going to do that left hand side. Then we just expand it. So it'll be cosine theta plus cosine squared theta minus I cosine squared theta sine theta plus I sine theta plus I sine theta. Co cosine theta minus i square sine square theta i square sine square theta okay just this distribute it as such right this guy then after which you distribute the other way around as well so just this guy over here which is this guy okay so i think it's a uh, pretty um okay because this and this You'll be able to nullify it, um, just zero pair, just be zero. Then uh, we just arrange the rest. This will be cosine theta plus cosine square theta plus i sine theta plus sine square theta. Okay, that's that. Then we know that cosine square theta plus sine square theta is actually just one. So cosine theta, cosine square theta plus sine square theta just one so this both will give us one and there you go we arrive at our answer which is uh, one plus cosine theta 
i sine theta, which is actually just uh, right hand side. Okay, there you go. Then we look at part two. Hence or otherwise, so, so similarly from hands or otherwise, find this value here. Now take note, um, if z, this is z, okay, because this modulus is one. So you think about it, z here, uh, the, the modulus of z is one, okay. Modulus of z is one. There you go. So essentially, uh, you have got, you, you want to find this value here, right? So let me just write it down. So from previous part, okay, so B, part two, we know that let uh, W is equals to cosine theta plus I sine theta, right? So from the previous part, we know, um, we know that, okay, actually Z could be that, but anyway, we just write this down, where modulus of W is equals to one. This is a important part because modulus of Z is also one, right? That's why you can use Z here. But we, we know that this is W and then this is W conjugate, right? So from one, you know very well that W one plus W conjugate is equals to one plus um, W, uh, W, okay? That's the case there. Okay, but you can use this as z as well. So, so hence, uh, one plus z four plus one plus z conjugate. Four. So we start with this. Um, you see carefully that one plus. So, in other words, um. Z can satisfy the part one as well. Okay, that's that. So once we're done, then we could just uh, replace this in. You can see that this uh, will work very well. So from the previous part, we deduce that Z plus one plus Z conjugates equals one plus Z. Okay, then that, that's what we do. Um, then we, we, we're going to just replace it in. We're going to replace the uh, Z. I'm going to replace this guy. Okay, so there will be z one plus z to about four plus one plus z conjugate to about four. Then after which we just uh, manipulate this z about four one plus z conjugate to the about four plus one plus z conjugate to about four. Factorize the one plus z conjugate to about four z four plus one. This part here once done, uh, we know that just now from previous part z square uh, from part a, right? z square is equals to negative, uh, sorry, z square is i. So th 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 there's a z square here. We just try and see this. So I'm not sure what is this conjugate here. So I'm going to leave it first. So this is 4. This is z square square plus 1, which is i square actually. Okay, for this is like i square plus one. So i square is actually just uh negative one. So this is a negative one plus one. So this entire thing is just be zero. Okay, that's about it. So that's how I do this question professionally. If you have any questions at all, please do let us know and I'll see you in the next question.